Meet Harold. Harold is not happy. Harold is not happy because he just received an assignment for his English 101 class. Harold has to write an argumentative essay on any topic of interest, but with a world of topics from which to choose, Harold doesn't know where to start. He hasn't even begun this assignment and Harold's already frustrated. Luckily, he remembers some of the tools that the librarian showed him to help choose and narrow a topic. First, he goes to the article databases. There are several library databases that specifically store information about current and controversial topics, which are perfect for an argumentative essay. This database is called Opposing Viewpoints. Harold browses the list of topics on the database's homepage. He then clicks on one to find more information about it and sources like magazine and newspaper articles that discuss the issue further. He accesses the current issue databases from the library's homepage, clicking Current Issues, and then selecting a database. These are great tools for Harold to use if he wants to browse lots of different subjects. However, Harold wants to be a dietetic technician and is really interested in food. He wants to write an essay about a nutrition topic, so he is going to look at some reference sources. Reference sources are a great way to get background information on different subjects. First, Harold uses an online source called Gale Virtual Reference Library. He types in some general search words and browses through the results. If one looks promising, he goes into the entry and reads more about the topic. He can get to these online sources by clicking Reference from the library's homepage and then selecting a database. Harold also finds lots of print reference sources in the library, like this one, the Encyclopedia of Junk Food and Fast Food. He flips through the pages and looks for interesting entries. When he finds one, he gets some background information on the topic, important keywords, and some related subjects. After looking through the databases and reference sources, Harold decides to write about nutrition and children, but this is still too broad for a five-page research paper. He's going to now use different techniques to narrow his topic. Harold grabs a pencil and paper and gets to work creating a concept map, thinking about how his broad topic relates to other areas of nutrition, like childhood obesity, junk food, and advertising. When he's finished with this first map, Harold decides which related topic is of most interest. That now goes into the center of his second map, where he thinks of even narrower subjects. Harold's chosen the causes of childhood obesity, so his related subjects are things like improper school lunches and lack of physical activity. If Harold doesn't want to write things down in a structured concept map, he could simply brainstorm his topic, thinking of all the subjects related to that one broad issue. He's jotting down all of these ideas on a piece of paper, not worrying whether they make sense or not. He'll look at them after his brainstorm session to see which ones will actually work for a topic. After trying all of these tools and techniques, Harold has a topic that he's excited to research and write about. He's now off to the library website to use more of the databases and catalog to find resources, knowing that if he has any trouble, he can always ask a reference librarian for help.